Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So I think I have a good one for you today. I'm going to be showing you when we should be throwing at the 19s instead of the 20s in order to get yourself to a possible checkout. Now, believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there that think 501 is nothing more than just throwing repeatedly at the 20s until you get to a checkout. For those of us that play 501 exclusively, we know it's so much more in depth than that. And also in this video, I'll be showing you when you should be throwing at the 19s in order to take the easiest path possible to a checkout. You know, we want to avoid ending up on 162, 163, 165, 166, 168, or 169. You know, we want to end up on some sort of possible checkout. And I have to admit, some of these are going to seem really hard, but the whole idea here is to just give yourself a chance because if you keep giving yourself chances, eventually one of those chances is going to pay off and you're going to smash home a huge checkout. You're going to win a leg, maybe even a match. So what do you say we start in? I think I have, uh, there's eight. There's eight scenarios here where we're going to be throwing at the 19s first. So yeah, let's just jump right into this and I'll show you when we should be throwing at the 19s. Okay, here we go with the first one and it's totally unrealistic in my opinion. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just not going to happen. But if you find yourself sitting on 341, I think the option to go for 19s is the better choice versus the 20s. Now, the reason why, if you hit a 171, it's going to leave yourself with 170. Now, Akapedia on Twitter, I'm going to put a picture up on the screen right here. He made a chart. And if you look at that chart, you can pause the video right now. If you look at that chart, it's going to indicate that the 170 checkout is hit at a much higher clip than the 161, the 164, or the 167. So for most of this video, I'm gonna to try to steer you guys towards the 170 checkout if possible. And I promise that as we work our way down the list, these uh, setup shots are gonna get more realistic. But there you go, 341, go at 19s, pray you hit a 171. Okay, next up is 309. So if you ever find yourself with 309 remaining, you only need to hit a seven mark in order to get yourself to a checkout. As you see in the board here, if you hit two treble 19s, it's gonna leave 195. From there, with your last dart, you're gonna take a throw at the bullseye. If you hit the bullseye, you leave yourself with 145. If you hit the 25 segment, you're left with 170. Also, if your first dart hits a single 19, you can go up to the 20s for a cover shot. Hopefully you'll hit a 139, leave yourself 170, pray for the best. But 309, you're going to be throwing at the 19s. Next up on the list is 306. So if you find yourself with 306 remaining, again, you're going to go at the 19s. And the good thing about that, if you hit a single 19 with a first dart, you can still leave yourself a finish. So, But from there, you do have to be perfect. So if you hit a single 19 with your first dart, you're going to need to hit a treble 19 and then go up into treble 20. Now, if you hit two treble 19s with your first two darts, it's going to leave 192. Again, you're going to go at the bullseye, same as you would with 309, and hopefully you'll leave 167 or 142. So there you go, 306, 19s is the way to go. Okay, it's getting a tiny bit more realistic here. If you find yourself on 303, as you see in the board there, you're going to need a minimum of seven 19s, a score of 133 to leave yourself 170. If you happen to pile in nine of those bad boys, you're going to find yourself on 132. But as you see there, the minimum, you're going to need two trebles and a single to leave yourself on 170 from 303. Okay, next one up, similar to the 303, this one is 293. So if you ever find yourself sitting on 293, I think the better option is to go 19s here. I mean, I would rather, I'd rather leave myself 160 compared to 153. 153 is a hell of a tough checkout. We don't even see that much in the pro ranks. I think I'd rather be sitting on 160, and I think that's easier to set up the shot from there. 153 is just a tough one if you went 20s. So from 293, I think your best option is to go 19s. Hit a 133, and you're good. Okay, here we go. For the last three setup shots, I think I'm going to actually be able to demonstrate them. The next one, if you find yourself sitting on 271, we're going to go 19s. We need to hit at least four of them with our first two darts. So let's see how this goes. All right, so I hit the, uh, picked up the treble with a first dart. That takes a lot of pressure off. Now I'm looking to just keep it straight. 
And I hit a single to leave 195. I have one dart left in hand. Hopefully, go at the bullseye. And I hit a 25 there to leave, or I scored 101 to leave 170. So as you see there, if you go 19s from 271, you only need a five mark to leave yourself a checkout. If you go 20s, good luck. You're gonna have to hit at least seven of them to get to an out. Okay, next one up, 265. So if you find yourself with 265 remaining, pretty straightforward. You only need five 19s in order to get yourself to a checkout. You know, hopefully you can pile in seven of them, leave yourself with 132. If you hit a nine mark, you're sitting on 94, but let's try to at least hit five here. All right, so again, treble first dart, that takes the pressure off. I need to keep it straight. And 133, so now I'm sitting on 132. I could have hit a five mark there, left myself with a nice 170. Okay, here we go to wrap this video up. One last checkout. Let's say you find yourself sitting with 233 remaining. Now, yeah, it would be great to hit a 171 from here. I think it leaves, what, 62? You could even hit a 133 to leave a beautiful 100 checkout. But the main reason you go 19s from a 233, let me show you. If your first two darts happen to go low into the 19, now you got one dart in hand, you have 195 remaining. Again, we're going to be going at the bullseye. We either hit the bullseye to leave 145 or we hit a 25 to leave 170. So there you go. I just hit a three mark and I left myself a checkout from 233. And those are the eight scenarios where you're gonna to wanna to go 19s. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the setup shots. I think I have another one planned using the bullseye. So there's, um, there's a couple scenarios where you wanna use the bullseye. It can leave you a two dart checkout versus a three dart checkout. So that video might be coming next. Let me know in the comments section if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out at all. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Later.